Hey guys, and welcome back to Tales of Vesperia. Last time, I finished up the melee stuff, and off screen, I went ahead and I got a couple things, or not a couple, I just got one little thing. I got the air fragment for uh, repeat. I believe it's his best armor in the game. So yeah, it takes a lot of stuff to make, so look it up. Um, other than that, I am here in Tarkaron. This is going to be my team for the final fight. Um, let's see here. I went ahead and took off the uh, Douse Cape. Um, and I need to give Raven his spirit thing back. Or spirit symbol, I think. Spirit. Oh, well, wait a minute. Why don't I just do this? Uh, fairy ring. There. That works. Okay. I don't need the Hunter's Monocle anymore, so uh, let's go ahead and do... What should I do for repeat? Um, how about we do... Persian Boots? What did I do? Uh, <laughs> I don't know if it gives me anything aside from just the stats. Um, Imperial Prestige, that would help, I guess. Not really. Uh, King's Cape? Oh, that's the other thing I made. I made the King's Cape. Um, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and give him the Persian Boots. Because I'm going to have my dog wear cat feet. So there we go. <laughs> so this is my armor and my setup. Uh, Hyper Armor, Dragon Helm, World Charm, Last Fencer, and Garm Fang, Warrior's Principle Plus One, Beast King, Ninja Dog Mask, Air Fragment, Persian Boots, Celestial Star, Sword Breaker, Glorious, Helm, and Guard, Fairy Ring, Energy Wand, Aure de Vol, uh, Platinum Circlet, Prison Protector, and a Fairy Ring. So we're here at Tarkaron. And I'm going to take the elevator straight up to the final level. Uh, not straight to Duke, just to level 6. I'm going to Holy Bottle, just so I don't have to waste any stuff getting there. Now, there is a healing circle just in front of Duke, but yeah. I'm going to do this anyway. So, level 6. Whoop, level 6. There we go. Huh. Okay, now, uh, I know that I did say that this was the finale, but I want people to know that... Um, you remember how I was talking about me doing all the skits? That is still doable. Uh, I can do them after the game, so that's what I'm going to do. If people want to see every skit in the game, I will go ahead and show every single skit after after the actual LP. It'll just go up in a series of videos, like all skits, part one, part two, part three, something like that. So that's how that's going to happen. Um, skills, I got 10 SP. I'm not going to worry about this, I don't think. Axe is up. Assassin? Oh, yeah. Oh, hey, well, that's perfect. Maybe that'll work against the final boss. Okay. So, um, I guess I'll go ahead and give that. Sure. That works. Okay. Now, is there anything else I need to do? I have last fencer. Um, I guess not. Ah, no, wait a minute. Okay, it's on hard. Good. So, the battle difficulty is confirmed. It is hard. As you can see, none of the other ones are checked. It is hard, so you don't need to worry. I'm not doing this on unknown, though. Sorry. Um, I guess nothing left to do but go. Oh, no. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. That's what I wanted to do. Uh, Hang on. No, no, no. I want to... Er, let's do this for now. There. <laughs> You'll see why I'm doing this in just a second here. Duke, it's time to stop. You're being an ass. Duke. Duke, we have the four elemental spirits. Their power can counter the Autophagos. There's no need to use people to destroy the Autophagos. Look at its size. Four spirits are nothing against it. They're crucial. We'll make up the rest by turning the Blastia cores to spirits too. Every single core in the world! And as a bonus, it'll put an end to the Blastia culture that you hate so much. Not too shabby, huh? I doubt humans will hand over their Blastia quietly. Or will you force them? 
Can you not believe that people can move forward and change? Humans will not let something go once it is in their grasp. So you won't listen. We will destroy the Autophagos our own way. Please, wait just a little longer. And will the world return to its former state? Huh? Will the air be controlled by the Entelechea? Will all life return to a time when nature ruled? No. You are changing this world, our Terka Lumeres. For what? For the convenience of humans. Nothing more. Can't you think that the world might be growing? I think of the Entelechea becoming spirits as evolution. Can't you see that? I would not presume to speak on the choices of the Entelechea. However, I also have my choices. So you won't listen to us because we're humans? You say you can't trust people, so you just drop everything. Then when it's too late, you try to wipe them out? Do you know what this tower is? Tarkaron was once a city, but the ancients turned it into a weapon to destroy the Antelikea. <sighs> to the ancients who did not recognize the threat of the Blastia, the Antelikea who attacked the Blastia were nothing more than a nuisance. And the air went out of balance, and the Autophagos appeared. Only then did humans listen to the words of the Antelikea. Our world has seen many sacrifices, yet humans committed the same offense, and they will again. Those who eat away and ruin this world. Those who would change the world for their own continued existence. They are apostles of destruction greater than even the Atafagos. I made a vow to my friend that I would protect this world. A Lucifer. So Chroma told you. Yeah, she also told us to stop you. She listened to us too and became a spirit. So please, we can do this together. Enough. If the Entelechea would throw away their mission, then I will take it up. I need not wait for your method. Once I complete this formula, the world will be saved. Duke, stop! As long as humans rule, they will commit the same offense time and again. If that happens, their hearts will grow wild and the future will be even more painful. Even if that happens, it's the path we choose. Even if we are hurt or stopped, we can still walk again as long as we don't give up. She's right. You'll never find anything new if you're afraid of making mistakes, of failing. And unlike you, we haven't chosen this path on our own. Everyone decided on it. Yeah, going it alone might be tough, but we're not alone. If one person can't do it, then we do it together. I finally learned that we can walk together like that. That may be sufficient for those who are connected to one another. However, there will always be some who cannot accept a difficult future. You all surely understand that. It will be difficult, but that is reality. They will take what changes, think, and change again, both the people and the world. So even if it takes tens, hundreds of years, they will listen someday. I know this now. That's what it means to live. Right, there are things you have to protect. But this old man wants to see what lies ahead for people in the next era. See how the fools change for those who can't see them anymore. Child of the full moon, why would you stand in my way? A thousand years ago, my ancestors gave their lives to protect this world. I want to carry on their bravery. You must understand by now, the children of the full moon are not suited to living in this world. It is your duty, then, to die here as your ancestors did, with courage. They weren't brave just because they chose to die. Their courage came from refusing to give up hope and their pride in defending this world. Words are cheap. Which is why I've come to prove myself through my actions.
The time has come then to show me that pride. Try to defeat me. Come! We're gonna kill the Autofaga, so stay out of the way. This isn't a path we chose alone. I have no reason to go along with your plan. We made this choice so humans and Entelikea could move on together. The Entelikea will regret that decision, and humans will wish they had died. I don't think anybody's gonna think that. Trust me. I won't regret it, no matter what you say. Our resolve runs deeper than that. Such a foolish conclusion. There is no longer any point in talking. That's too bad. If you would just listen. No more. Okay, so this is Duke. Uh, sorry if you didn't like the whole Estelle quote. I just felt that it was kind of appropriate. Um, wow, he's already halfway done. Uh, basically what happens is uh, you can get a different little conversation with Duke depending on who is the party leader at the point at that point in time. So yeah, if you want to listen to other ones, there's videos where people show all the different conversations. So yeah, go for it. I just like Estelle's the most. Damn. Oh well. Oh man. But yeah, Duke is can be very annoying because there's a lot of skills that he has that will cause you to get random status effects, and that's really aggravating. Maybe I should have done this on Unknown. <laughs> so this is your pride. The bravery of which you spoke. However, the past children of the full moon saw in their deaths humanity's final hope. Are you prepared to die for your cause as they did? I won't die. I will live and walk this new world together with all people. Even with you. You aren't the enemy we should be fighting. A future for everyone together. That would be good. Then... No. It is too late. My path was set when the Adafagos covered the sky. But... The best path for an enduring world is to return it to its natural state. That is the path I chose. I will die for that. My friend, grant me your strength! clinging to the past. So I am the only stubborn one? No. I am not mistaken. I will use all my power to eliminate your misguided purpose. Okay, so, Duke number two. And he's got... Um, there we go, that's much better. He's got 1,168,000. So, guess what? Kratos is still stronger than you. <laughs> Okay, so this is the form that you have to beat with... Oh, damn it. See, you see what I mean? That's what I hate. Like, random attacks will give you status conditions, and it just sucks. Alright, so... Repe uh, <laughs> repeat. Uh, all physical ailments? No, no, I want Dispel on repeat. And also, uh, Raven, go ahead and hit repeat with a pineapple gel. Wait, where is he? Oh, there he is. <laughs> Oh, 
Man, I almost feel kind of... You know what? I'm going to go ahead and turn off stop flow. That's really overpowered right here. So, yeah. No more stop flow. Okay. Oh, okay. Looks like he was already casting it before I stopped him. <laughs> All right. One more. How about that? Oh, cool. She gave me revive. That's nice. Not that I need it. No, you won't. Crap. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. No, 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 no. Oh, come on. Panacea bottle. Thank you. There. You missed. Oh, crap. Whew, close. Man, no Mystic Arts from you, huh? Kind of expected one, but no, apparently not. Or not yet. Still got a hundred. Still got like five hundred, six hundred thousand to go. Oh no! Oh crap! Did he just kill me? Oh, no, no, no. That one can't kill you. Okay. So, uh, you, I would like a uh, special chill. But I really wish it just did everything, you know? Okay, thank you. Not me. Not me. <laughs> not me. Please, not me. All right. Uh, Miracle gel on repeat. Thank you. All right, uh, you... No, 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 no. Uh, you seal bottle on repeat. Oh, okay. Whoops. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and hit myself with pineapple gel. Hey, no, no, no. <laughs> hey, now, no protecting yourself from spells. It's cheap. How much health do you got? 200,000 left, okay. Oh, would you stop giving me... How are you doing that so easily, man? I have... What's it called? I got my world charm. Come on. It's annoying. Oh, damn, they didn't do it? Okay, he's got 20,000 left. No, no. Come on. Oh, my God, stop with the stuns. Well, I tried. <laughs> I don't care. I'm not doing it. I'm not redoing it. Oh, by the way, that loud sound, that was me face palming. Thanks for peed, ass. What? What's going on? Impossible. This is the Spiral Draco. The Fell Arms are reacting to Dane Nomos. And what's that light surrounding Duke? Dane Nomos and the Tower are combining to restore the power of the Fell Arms. But how?
What's going on? Are these the fell arms in their true form? They're nothing like they used to be. Now, the ancient king of the Endelicaea will fight at my side. It is the will of the very planet, the will of Terka Lumeres itself! I don't give a damn about your crazy ideas. We decide our own sense of right and wrong. The rest, I leave to my sword. You will not be persuaded, I see. Perhaps it is for the best. Join me now in battle for the sake of this world. If you still intend to fight, then I have no choice but to unleash my full might. Yeah, well... We're not done yet, either. Such strength. What is it that drives you? The will to protect someone. The possibilities the future brings. You have something driving you, too, right? It is all just make-believe. Delusions people have made. Soon, they will be betrayed and destroyed. But they can be built up again. Come on, you gotta understand, right? Come, defeat me. Prove to me the strength of your conviction. Okay, so, this is the Radiant Winged One. This is the Nebulim fight. Ugh. Now, you see what they did there? Did you notice how Duke 1 and Duke 2 were, like, level 65? They shoot this guy's level up by, like, 20. So, you go from level 65 boss to a level 80 boss. So, that's what makes this one so much harder. Not to mention he gets another Mystic Art. So, yeah. This is the fight I've been waiting for. Oh, and now, by the way, don't forget, now you have the powered-up Devil's Arms. Blazer Edge Abyssion. A sword as red as bl Look at the damage. 6,000. This thing has been pretty powered up. Uh, now, wait a minute. Did I get the other one? Yeah, no. Okay. I don't care. I earned it. I'm using it. Now, it's fire for some reason. I don't know why it's fire. So, Energy Wand. What did you get again? You got uh, Mercurius, right? gonna be powered up uh or is it where is it i don't even see it um mercurius ah soul blade mercurius okay it just gives you extra combo what the, what the hell it's dumb warrior's principal blade of sins susano and then what did you get you got i forgot what yours oh infernal angel nebulim cool a bow with two virtues and two hearts. There's nothing its arrows can't pierce. Okay. Let's see how much damage I do. 4,000 per hit. That's pretty damn good. I'm going to use him because I earned it. So, yeah. With all my grinding, I deserve it. So, suck it if you are if you don't want me to. Ow, ow, ow. What the hell was that? Ugh. Now, I've fought this guy before, but I've only ever fought him on easy, because what I did wrong was um, I fought him on my first playthrough when I was going through on normal, and I was not prepared for the severe level boost. So, yeah. No, no casting. No, no, no. <laughs> I am not going to let you cast a damn thing. See, now, this, that, this kind of gives you an unfair advantage against him because you're able to use the Devil's Arms against him, where other Nebulims, you were never able to do that. And holy crap, I'm hitting for like 25,000 damage. Look at that. I just did 11,000 damage with one. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Ow! It did 21,000 damage to me! All right, um, Estelle, please, uh, specific. Uh, did you use it or not? Oh, I did TP. Oops. I meant to do HP. Well, at least I did it in time. All right, you, seal bottle, please, me. Oh, 
Okay. Well, we recovered from that pretty easily. Now, I believe if you play on Unknown, um, that Big Bang, only on the Nebulim fight, but on Unknown, that will kill you. They made it so it kills you. The only way you can survive it is if you have a an Overlimit 4 when he does it. So, yeah. Be prepared for that if you're going to try this on Unknown. Oh! Oh, no. Oh. We're doing Big Bang. Do your other one. You still stand. All right, here. Uh, I got it. I'll give it to. I'll make Rapide use it. Cause he's got. Oh my God! Look at that. That healed sixty percent. Uh, no item to steal. Wouldn't it be crazy if he actually had an item? What's he got? Oh, okay. Guess I'm not gonna see. <laughs> I just want to see what kind of spells he has. Holy crap, a thousand damage per punch. <laughs> Alright, um, you, uh, Panacea on repeat. Oh, okay, never mind. No, you won't. I'll blow you away. That was so easy. It was? <laughs> oh, also, I finished it with a frigging Yuri punch. How perfect is that? 80,000. Do we get anything? Do even better than nope. This. Hey, I'm getting pretty good. I'm sorry. Elucifer. I could not keep my promise. I don't know what a Lucifer was like, so this doesn't mean much coming from me. But if El Lucifer fought for humans during the Great War, then I don't think he'd want his friend to reject humanity. El Lucifer's wish to protect the world, peace for all living things. I'm on it! Here we go. Estelle, synchronize. Judith, give me support. Okay. Understood. Yuri, let's go! We're counting on you, boss. Yuri, you can do it!
It's okay. Just a little more. It just needs a little more power. But how? There isn't any more. Come on, we gotta do something. It's gotta work. <laughs> Enter Lakea. Spirits. Humans. The Lucifer. Can this world truly change? Damn it! Come on! I'm so proud to call you my friend, Yuri Lowell. Spirits? You mean all of them? Awesome! All the Antelikea who became Atafagos, they all transformed into these spirits. So the Atafagos was also part of this world. Unbelievable. It's so beautiful. Was this truly the right thing for us to do? I don't know. We lost all the Blastia, and with that, the barriers are gone. But we chose that path, so I guess we gotta live with it. As long as we're still alive, we'll be okay. You are strong. <laughs> yeah, well, that's because I'm not alone. Hey, Duke! See you around. How are we going to get down? But, well, how is Duke going to get down? Are we going to give him a lift? It's like, uh, <laughs> after he's done walking away, he just awkwardly comes back as like, uh, could you give me a ride back down to the surface? Yeah, thanks. <laughs> and then he just sits on the ship. He's just like cross-armed. This totally isn't doing it from a mysterious image. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so glad that's done. Oh. <laughs> and I can't say it enough. It's not because I hate the game. It's just I've been doing it for so long. Oh. God, it's been so long. I can't wait to do something new. And hey, you learned how to use a simple machine. A pump. Oh. So you know what the problem is? You got the water up, but it still tastes like ass, and it has, like, parasites in it. Um, Estelle, that's not... Stop with the rape face, please. <laughs> it repeats face. It's like, <laughs> That's the kind of face I would make. It's like, <laughs> All right. Ugh. And, hey, she went to go, um, make children's stories. That's right. And she's not the queen, I don't think. Or the empress. It was Yoder, wasn't it? 
pretty sure Yoder was the one who became Emperor, so, yeah. Pit! <laughs> Rita? Oh god, that face. So what are you experimenting now with? Or with now? And since when do you have physical fluids to work with? Air and mana aren't, like, fluid forms. Oh, cool! She made a flying machine. That's kind of cool. But, you know, okay, I got a question. If your entire career is now revolving around spirit research, why don't you just hang around the castle and have Estelle summon them? I mean, it's not like they're doing anything. I don't think. I mean, mana isn't something they need to regulate. They just basically make it into a solid matter, and, whoop, we're done. Because I don't need air anymore. Whatever. So Carol goes off and becomes a treasure hunter, and then he beats the monsters and everybody else wins, and he loses because Carol sucks. Oh god, not them. Oh, I see. <laughs> yeah, Schwan Brigade's back on. <laughs> I like how they're evil because they have mustaches, and they're looking at money. That's kind of funny, actually. Oh, God, they got like the spindly friggin' Jafar mustache that makes him evil. Oh, God. But yeah, I really like the artwork they have for the, um... Oh, you know, the ending. Because it kind of just... It kind of sums up what they're all doing now that everything's done. You know, Yuri's back in the capital trying to help people get along. Um... Judith is just flying around on Ba'ul as usual. Estelle's writing children's stories and helping out with, like, the day-to-day -day actions of the Empire. Carol is doing pretty much nothing. Raven's doing guild and Empire stuff, as always. And then occasionally, like, in this one, they meet up and stuff. So they still do some adventuring together, so that's pretty cool. And then they fight a weird dragon that you never actually see in the game. You never see a monster that looks anything like that. Jeez. Oh, and then she wrote the novelization of Tales of Vesperia. <laughs> uh, that's pretty funny. Well, I mean, not really. I don't know what she's writing. I can't really tell. Because it just, honestly, it just looks like she's kind of took a highlight marker and just kind of actually, you know, uh, yeah, yeah, that's Tales of Vesperia, damn it. And Rapide is beating Raven at chess. Either that or he's just getting pissed and knocking the pieces over. And that's a pretty cool one. Uh, the, this one and this one. I like those two, for obvious reasons. And Rapide is on top of a giant spiky ball in the ocean. Okay. Oh, oh, get her off the screen. God. I hate you. And repeats howling at the moon again. Because I didn't get the idea that he howls at the moon. Hey! Dropping in on Flynn. Yay. That's pretty much it. <laughs> Aren't you still under arrest? I don't know. I get the feeling he'd still try to arrest you at this point. So what if you saved the world? You stole a you stole a gel. Law's the law. Ugh. Oh God, get the oh get off the damn screen. Oh, I ought to just put up a black sensor bar. Hey, oh wow, hi, <laughs> welcome back. Where have you been, man? Why couldn't you be around more? Oh you. What the hell? Oh, get off the damn screen. And <laughs> hit you, okay. <laughs> Whatever. I don't know what you're doing. We didn't ever make Volt, so how are you doing that? Aw, that's sad. <laughs> Duke, Duke versus Squirrel, staring contest, go! Oh, Duke wins. <laughs> and aren't those all monsters? How are they not attacking him? There we 
gonna have to clean that shit up. Man, it's gonna take forever. Oh, yay! It's over! Oh, thank God! It's finally over! Oh, so, okay. Oh. Now that it's all over, I want to thank you guys for watching and sticking with this game for so damn long. Next time, it's not going to be a long game. And I'm going to be taking a break. But, don't worry, if you do want me to show the skits, I will still show them. Um, they'll just be in a non-narrated video, it'll just be nothing but skits, that's pretty much it. So, uh, thanks for watching. And I will see you guys next project. And it's going to be a short-ish game. Not five damn months long. <sighs> see ya.